left my guitar out in the sunlight for an hour and a half to try it out. No, of course I didn't. Um, okay, first thing, I'm going to put on this little Chinese... I don't know what it is. It's a Chinese... It comes with a set of Chinese coins, so good luck. A red ribbon or something like that it's called. I don't know. So that's going to go on. And um, okay. Oh, and it might be a good idea at this point to line up the holes. So that it's easier to find them. You just just twist the tuning peg round. Okay. I should be using a coffee grinder, but I can't be bothered. Okay, so all the holes are lined up. So it's easy to put the strings in. And I gave the, um, the saddle and wipe down with some oil. And these are wooden string pegs, so I oiled them up as well. Okay, so putting the strings in. We've got two sets. we got a fundamental, which is like a normal six string. And the, these are the octaves, which uh, I'll explain about in a minute. So we're going to start off just with the octaves. Sorry, the fundamentals. And uh, I'll start with number 11, which is the, the top E. Oh, interesting. I might need a pair of scissors to open it, cut that open. Okay, this, this is the fundamental E string, or in my case, C sharp. So it'll go in the in the one nearest to me, because all these ones here are like the six string, and all the ones that are here on the left side here will be the octave strings. You see, they are above the fundamentals. And so the way I do it is I put it in like this, and not 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 this. Uh, you can see that the, it's easier to go in the slot like this. So you, you, what you do is, it's got to be jammed up like this. It's got to be jammed up here, but not here, because it, it'll pull the, pe it'll, when you put the tension, it'll pull the peg out. So you've got to feel that. So first of all, you put it in and you push it and you can feel and you pull it back up and you can even put your hand in at risk of pulling out the, the pickups you know what, I'm doing this wrong I'll start again you want to put it in this way. Okay. So you put it in like this, and you push it down, and you pull it up. And then you come over here, and because I'll turn the guitar around, and because it's just a wow, uh, a plain string. I'm going to put it through the hole two times to make sure it can go in once. You pull up to about maybe the height of the string packet 
and it's going to wind round in the clockwise direction. So I'm going to put it to a second time, like this. And I'm going to take my coffee grinder and I'm going to wind the string whilst keeping the tension on it. It should go here, like this, like this. And I'm going to wind the string. And as I said, it's going to go in a clockwise direction. And I'll pull this up so it doesn't foul. And the string has to wind underneath. Like this. Until it's just starting to take some tension. Right like now. Okay. And then you take the 15. And you do the same thing. I'm not putting the um, sympathetic string in. I'm just putting in a, a normal six string set. And it goes. This one's not very easy to get it in the right position, but you could make a little bend in there like this if you want. Because then it'll be correctly orientated. You push it and you jiggle it about until you feel that it's biting. Now this time, of course, you jump one. At this point, I always have this terrible fear that I've put them on the wrong... I've done this wrong, it should be over the top. And I put it in the wrong one, wrong slot. Okay. Like I said, it goes through. And it goes through a second time, like this. And then you're going to wind it up. You can pull the tension You see what I'm doing? I'm holding the string down here on the net and in the slot. You see that? Like this. Right, now we have a, a wound string, this is 23, so I only have to put it through the slot once, because it's a wound string it bites a lot easier, it's not really a problem that it slips. Jump up one, feed it through,
Vamos lá. You can see that I'm holding it. These are the easy ones. One will be thirty. The Zen and the art of twelve string guitar maintenance by Robert Pickard. doesn't seem to be it's not quite how I want it. Put your hand in at this point. But this one is wrong. going to go missing one and this time it's going to it's always going to wind from the inside Thirty-nine. The interesting thing about this caravel is that the um, the strings are almost entirely the same gauge. It's only the uh, the, the, the E the bottom E string which is different, and the top E, I think. No, the, the top E and the top B are different, but the uh, the the, the a, G and the D. Yeah, this is the C, apparently. Unfortunately. They're the same. Jump to put the packet there.
50. 50, which I particularly like. Oh my god, what happened? Ah, here it is. Oh dear, I've got a real problem with this nut. It won't go tight. Let's hope this is okay. Okay, so there's a six string guitar. And uh, we're ready for the octaves. Okay, I'm ready to put on the sympathetic strings. And to make it, I'm trying to make it easy for you to understand the system. I've put on six strings, which was 50, 39, 30, 23, 15, 11 in the normal space. These are the fundamental strings. And this was the same set, but what I did was I'm going to move them up one for the octave strings. Um, so I've got a unison, this is, this is a spare, a double. Uh, that's 11. This is the 15. And the original 11 will be the octave string here. The original 15 will be the octave string here. The 23 will be the octave string for this one. And the 30 here. And the 39 and the 50 that were in this packet, I've probably thrown them away. So, we're going to do the same thing again. I hope you understand how that works. It's a bit of an interesting system. So what you do is you buy two packs of strings, and replace and get two spares for the uh, unison strings. That's all you've got to do. Okay. Okay. So this is my eleven unison. Difficult to get 
the string and just keep the string in the slope. But there you are. Now when you're doing it this way, you've got to keep your eye on it in case you break it by accident, by overwinding it. So far so good. My 11. There it is. Actually, these ones are not, don't have the quality, they're not the same brand name. So when you buy it, your, your, your two strings, always check that they're a good quality. I, I, I made a mistake buying these ones. But I'm in Thailand. And it's not easy just to buy spare strings. So. That is typical. This is a bad quality. It doesn't fit in the hole. But it doesn't matter. I have another one. Four strings left. Okay, we've got the 11, which will go on my G string. Also, innuendo is a possible layer. But we're not doing innuendos. We're not even doing jokes, are we? You know what? I'll watch just about every YouTube tutorial on 12 string guitar and unfortunately they all fall somewhat short of the mark in it. Unless your name happens to be Mark. No, sorry, bad joke. The joke is, actually, I have watched just about every YouTube tutorial on the 12 string guitar, but unfortunately they all fall somewhat short with a mark in it. And no offence if your name happens to be Mark or you're a short NF. We are nearly there. Okay, let's do this one. Fifteen, which is a wild string.
the last of the wound strings. This one popped a bit. I don't bother with this locking technique. I don't think it's necessary. That's about right. This is where it's, it gets difficult, but it's not that impossible. You just have to put your fingers in the right spots. And check if it's good. So that's um, 10 down and 2 to go, number 23 Skidoo. Whoa, what happened here? Pegs locked. Strings not seated correctly. It is now, I think. And... That's about a box. Number 30, come in number 30, you can it up. Right, so you can check here to make sure they're all sitting nicely on the capsules. So I'm just about ready to tune up. 
and um, I don't really use the string winder now. Did I say a string winder? I meant coffee grinder. Courses, I had this guitar made with courses. I wanted a, 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 a nice uh, space between the strings to allow for the dissonance when I'm picking. And also because, uh, yeah, I just think it's a nicer sound. You have to have your neck a bit wider. I'm on 50 millimeters. Whatever that is in inches, I don't know. I don't use British standard units. Um, so when you're confident that it's kind of like going to sit there nicely and these aren't going to pop out, you may clip off the strings. I'm not sure if this, I'm being a little bit... Um, I'm a lot, I just can't remember words at the moment. Predominant? No, that's the wrong word. Presumptuous? No. What's the right word? I'm being a little... If you can think of the right word, you write it in the comments below. Okay, so you just snip. One. And then I tuck them in. Because they're a little bit sharp. Not in the musical sense. Now, how do you tune the 12 string? Ha <laughs> ha! Well, there are three ways to tune any guitar. One way is by ear, using a, a tuning fork or something like that. And the other way is using um, an app, which I do, which I can't do now because I'm using the app as a camera, or using an iPhone as a camera. Or you can just tune it by ear, if you have a perfect pitch, and you, 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 you actually tune the strings to each other. But uh, I'll explain something. I like to tune up the uh, fundamentals first using the tuner. And, and then. And then when you've got them in tune roughly in tune, then you go back and do the octaves and you can tune the octave to the string, to, to its fundamental string. So I'm going to not really do the tuning in front of you, but I think you get the idea. If this is the tune, if it's the no line one, I can tune them by ear. So but I will use the uh, I will use the app 
and um, see if I can get it in tune. But of course you know this, that they take, they need a few hours to settle in, probably overnight to settle in, so they, they're taking a the stretch out of them. <coughs> right now, they sound pretty shitty. A uh, couple, couple of tips, yeah. The tip number one is when you're tuning it, don't use the plectrum, uh, because the tuner picks up the sound of the plastic in the string. So I would use the, the finger, you can use a downstroke for the sympathetic, the octave string, an upstroke for the uh, fundamental tuning. Also, always tune it up to the note, not down. So if you're sharp, take it down below the note and tune it up, because it, it's better. There's logic there. Uh, it's to do with the way the string uh, fits in the nut. Uh, it gets stuck and you tune it down. It doesn't tune down as easy as it tunes up. So there's a couple of hints, a couple of tips on me you might find useful. <sighs> Nearly in June. Ah, not quite. Needs a while to see in. As I said before, you play, tune the uh, Octave with the thumb downstroke and the fundamental finger upstroke. So, take two. So, Almost in tune, but not really good enough for me. No. Remember, downstroke, octave with the thumb, upstroke with the finger, fundamental. And you can hear them. I'm going to leave it uh, out in the sun to dry and get back maybe tomorrow and, you'll, and I'll, we'll do some comparisons. And now for some George Harrison's. George Harrison, I meant comparison, so I copy your mind, so um, yeah, and I recorded these yesterday before I changed, changed the strings. <laughs>
watching uh, my channel. Uh, Zen and the art of 12 string maintenance, everything you needed to know about a 12 string guitar but were afraid to ask. Um, enjoy playing your guitar, take care of it, enjoy noodling, be inspired. Uh, don't forget to uh, hit the dislike button and leave a nasty comment before you unsubscribe. So thank you very much once more.